Wait, you did what? Oh, uh, what are you talking about? No, you said you said Midoriya where? Uh, which Midoriya? You know which one. The one with no power, skinny as hell. <laughs> You have to be more specific than that. Don't play with me. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, I sent him to hell. Which one? Uh, you mean which Midoriya or which hell? Which hell? Well, let's see. Uh, what's that one called? Hey, Izuku. Was a Zuko. Uh, what was that? Uh, what hell or version of hell was it that you came from? Oh, talk about my dad, Lucifer, and sister Charlie? Yeah, that one. Oh, well, she had this thing called the uh, Husband Hotel. That's the one. That, that version. Why? Why would you send him there? You know exactly why. You know why we we do this, why we fuck with our lives and alternate the timeline and go to multiple continuities. You know exactly, you know why, man. Now, then, we'll see what happens. This is not a show. This, this, this we can't keep messing with their lives like this. That's all we do. Seriously, you know what's coming. I know what's coming. It's better that I, we have enough power to stand up against it. I know. Of all places, why there? Uh... If anything, if he's lucky, he'll come one of those, uh, what do you call them? Overlords. There it is, yeah. You expect the cinnamon roll version of us to uh, collect souls? Oh, believe me. He has it in him. He, he has the potential. Really? You really think he has the potential to be a deal maker? At least a soul collector. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe he'll kill that version of Valentino too. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait. 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 But the uh, Timeline is still ongoing, you know. But what's his mom gonna say? Oh, don't worry about that. I gave him Osmodeus crystal. What? Yeah. Where did you get one? <laughs> yeah, you know exactly where. Izuku! What? You gave him an Osmodeus crystal? Why? Well, he asked. It's a menu. Give him one. That's the worst that can happen. Mm. Oh. My bad. It's too late now. Well, okay, good. You can go back and forth, whatever. But he at least knows how to use it, right? Yeah, of course. He knows how to use it, right? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Okay. See, I what You know that the uh, the old overpass, right? He just. Got bullied by Bakugo. Yeah. 
And, you know, uh, the Southern Spring was supposed to jump his ass, you know. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If anything, I met him before he got there. And, you know, I did pull my whole cloak and ominous, mysterious, stranger routine. Mm-hmm. I some of you want the power to be a hero, you know, a quarter or something like that. Do you, um... Well, <laughs> I told him I had an opportunity for him, in, in which, uh, you know, I'll give him ten months, uh, and all, to, he'll, he'll be training in, you know, a certain place. You didn't tell him what's hell, did you? No, I did not. He'll learn that soon enough, but, <laughs> yeah. D d could you at least tell me you explain something to his mom? Oh yeah, I I uh, wrote a note and everything, and gave it to her. I said he was in this summer camp thing or whatever, or he's this broad program. <laughs> <laughs> so, ten months, man. It's crazy as hell. Really? Yeah, ten months. It is something special. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. You sent him. You already sent him there, correct? Right now, right now he's in hell. Yeah. So, wait, wasn't there just an extermination? No. <laughs> Shit, wait, really? He's a girl. Right. Huh? What extermination? Oh, wait, yeah, oh. Actually, we don't do those anymore. What? Yeah, my, my continuity, I got rid of them. What? Oh. Well, I can't tell you, really. Oh, you bastard, yes you can. Fair enough. But, oh, wait. This isn't my continuity, right? No. Oh, then, yeah. Let's see, depending on the universe, you can be the one, divide by five. Yeah! The exploration just finished. What? Yeah, I mean, it's over, but still, you know. And Brad, huh, this one, this continuity that I've checked on, that you did send him to, it seems to be a bit late. To my... What? Heck, you know me, I mean... Well, the last extermination was a fair amount of time ago. Really? Yeah. We we don't do them anymore because, heck, I, I lost the shit out of it. So what you're saying is, in your continuity, you don't have exterminations anymore. Correct! And in this one, oh no, they're still going on. In fact, this is way before, you know, uh, my sister actually started her little hotel thing. Wait, so he has no shelter? Uh, well, uh, I... <laughs> well... <laughs> You, you sent him to the hospital to one. Yes, I have that. Get me to do it. Stop poking me, bastard. Thank you. You yeah. have me. Oh.
Look, I didn't know that this was the continuity. Oh, I didn't know this one was so early on before the hotel. I thought he would have been able to go there. Really? You really had that much faith? <laughs> Not really faith, it was just more like a eh, he'll be fine type of moment. <sighs> You're gonna get him killed twice. What? What are you talking about? Well, you did kill him, didn't you? Uh, no. No, I didn't. You didn't kill him? Wait, did you think he was going to go to hell? If I killed him? If, if he died, yeah, he was going to hell? Of all people, him? Hey, good point, good point, good point. No, that's why I had to give him the Osmolius Crystal. I mean, I activated it. In fact, I was able to set a timer thanks so. to you know who teach me how Osmodius does it. Okay, so ten months he comes back to her. Yep. And God almighty is it gonna be culture shock. And just pray that he finds someone who is friendly ish. <sighs> Can't believe you. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So, not only does he have his soul, but also a corporeal body. Yeah. How was that going on? Damn. What do you mean? Idiot! Don't go out like this. When you get sent to hell or heaven, your body changes the shape or form. That reflects you as you were a lot of Oh. Huh. Good point. I wonder how that's going to turn out. You might not know because he is alive. You just dropped him off in hell. Point. So if anything, instead of a quick, painless transformation, Really painful. Uh, well, why, 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 The hey, him, him and is full of assholes. Remember, good point. But either way, yeah. Luckily, the exterminations is over. Still, it'll be a real fuck fest. Ooh, not like that, or. If you got slaughtered by an angel. Ugh. Seriously, on the first day of being there, that would have been tragic. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, is, is that all you need? Wait, I just thought something else. What? Kasiri, he will not know a damn thing. Especially when it comes to you know, hell. You didn't seem to, I don't think you really gave him a craft course or anything. Yeah. What if he makes a damn deal? What? A deal with somebody. He wouldn't. You know how interesting we were. I, he couldn't. Oh, believe me, he's gonna be fresh pickings for a wannabe overlord. Oh, sh 
Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Yeah. You didn't think about that, did you, asshole? Oh man, I really didn't. Great story. Yeah, that was Alistair. Actually, Alistair can be a prick, but he's he's not. He's not terrible, terrible. He's more like a. He just likes me making fun, fun of your situation and nothing else. You remember Husk, right? True. Wait. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. What? Valentino. Don't you dare. Don't you dare mention that. Waste of space. It could happen! No, 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 no. Don't you put that evil on it. On that poor boy. No, it is. Because you did not think this through at all. It could happen. Oh dear. He he's gonna be he's gonna be more fa famous than Angel Dust. Oh 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 god oh no. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> You have potentially damned a version of ourselves to be the toy of a sadistic, perverse, mothman demon. Or a sadistic, cannibalistic puppet master who also practices voodoo magic. So mull over that while I find something to kill you with. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Before you consider self-deletion, I may be you, but I am not you. We are not the same. Okay, I get it. Either way. <sighs> It, it, it might not be nearly as bad as you think. What is doing that make a deal? We're smart enough for that, aren't we? A teenage version of us was sent to a world where drugs were in vending machines, violence, intercourse, and God knows anything depraved and unholy in this world next to or even the universe are legal. If you get your ass whooped and try asking for help, you could have made a deal by accident. I, 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 oh, oh Lord, I, I really did fuck up, didn't I? Yeah, so I suggest you uh, pick a place to die in, you know? And you! What about me? You don't want to give him the Osmosis Crystal, which is also what helped him carry out his plan. So, you are going to watch. What am I watching? You're going to watch Izuku's Progress. Which one? Hey, I'm I'm honestly God serious with you. Have no idea how many of us are here. You have no you have no way of knowing how many of us are yet to be altered. You know what I mean. You're just trying to be a smart ass. Yeah, I am. So if anything, I'm just going to be, what, checking on him, making sure he doesn't die? So, oh, no. Because if he dies, you and him are going to die, too. <laughs> you can't kill me. 
how how confident are you about that? Okay, so what are you, so what I was doing what now? Good boy. Is now we get to 20 minutes of Izuku being, this new Izuku being uh, in the hell. And he is batshit scared. He's seeing God knows how many corpses, wondering what is going on here. First, he thinks, ah, oh, maybe it's fake, or until he just smells the blood and running flesh. And seeing the spears get, getting confiscated until he does notice that uh, someone's watching him. And he runs like hell. One thing that ends up saying his ass is that he does it. End up going to the back alley. But ends up scoring his ass even more. Pause. It's about that. He runs into an overlord. Hi. Well, you know, who are you? I'm Izuku Midoriya. Huh. Strange. He must be new here. Yeah, you, you, you can say that. Well, I wouldn't, was just looking for some new employee, employees, and look what just seemed to fall into my lap. You know, uh, uh, well, I, uh, oh, your skin is very, hmm. That's interesting. I've had I've, it's, it's been a while since I felt skin this soft. I wonder how good are you with your hands? Huh? Excuse me? Huh. Never mind, we can worry about that later. I wonder, um you don't need any help, do you? I mean, the extermination is very uh, scary for newcomers. <laughs> uh, uh, the extermination? What's that? Oh, yeah. Once a year, there, there are uh, some very aggressive, winged individuals. We'd call them angels, but they're. Really, nothing but assholes. And they slaughter us. At least, as many of us as they can find. So, if anything, I'm down here, as I said, to find some new employees. Because, sadly, I did lose quite a few wonderful specimens. But, if anything, I'm always willing to help newcomers. And you seem quite green. If you really do need some help, all you have to do is shake my hand. I can take you away from here. Make sure that you stay safe and sound. Perhaps. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, what well, was, was the, uh, uh, I don't have any money. <laughs> oh, you know, it's more than money. Trust me, me and more. If anything, all you have to do is work for me. I'm sure you'll pay me plenty. With your services. Ugh. Why do I get. Why do I have a strange feeling? Oh, that's just butterflies. Don't worry about it. Come on, take my hand. 
Trust me. I uh, I don't know if I I, I should. <sighs> Very well. Don't worry about it. If anything, just let me know if you change your mind. Here, this is my card. And Izuki Madoya. He gave me your name, but. I'm sorry for being so rude to not give you mine. My name is Valentino. One of the V's. Who? Oh, trust me. We're gonna get to know each other. Really soon, if all goes as planned. But yes, if anything, I can give you a rundown of the V's. Me, Valentino. Velvet. <laughs> Yes. And... <laughs> box. Oh, well, so they're your friends? Uh, more like business partners. I mean, it would be as easy for me to do my job if it was for Vox. And Velvet it does help spread the word, as well as give me some very compelling garments. Um, wait, what? Tell you what, just come by to the building. Uh, you can find me in my studio. You trust me. You don't have to worry about a thing, because I'll be sure to take good care of you. Just as if you were one of my own. I have. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Well, that's a good boy. Oh, yeah, and be careful when it comes to certain individuals. The last thing you want is to be on the wrong leash. I well, hi Zuko. Hope to see you soon. Valentino leaves. Hey, Zuko is dumbfounded. Oh yes, Valentino does have this somewhat charismatic air. When you first meet him, it yeah, you get this feeling like. Okay, something doesn't, something's not right here. For some reason, I feel like I should stay far away from your ass. That's the way you think, that's the kind of vibe Izuku's getting. But if anything, now that he knows that the extermination is a thing, and the whole ominous, eh, very ominous, talk about being on the wrong leash. Izuku thinks it will be best just to stay the hell away from anybody. But, of course, there's a problem here. Considering that, yeah, he does know that, okay, so this is definitely not Japan anymore. And the whole acceleration thing is terrifying. Especially when it comes to the damn angels. He's pretty much wondering, what kind of training am I supposed to really do here? First things first, he goes find somewhere to sleep. But not before he does see glints of shiny objects. Him seeing that, huh, these are the same spears I've seen being stuck inside some of those corpses. Him not knowing who to really trust, let alone if they were safe, he decides to take two of them. Not really sure how to use them, though. He walks off. <laughs> you know what? It's been a long day. <laughs> 
Well, you get some sleep. And pretty much just hang up shop until an abandoned building. Yeah. Man. Wonder why that didn't work. <laughs> what is it about? Hmm? Oh, nothing locks. It's just I found quite the interesting little missing puppy. Really? Oh well, yes. The thing is, I tried to convince him to come by. I don't know if he will, but anything else seems like I got his attention. You didn't try using your oh yes, I did, but for some reason it wasn't working. I mean, it looked like it was, considering he was practically his red as a tomato. I got close to him, but for some reason, I couldn't keep him. Well, that just means that he probably lose your touch. What? Mm. <laughs> Nothing. So, any new contracts? Uh, no. No, not really. If anything, it seems as though... That maybe people want to be a star. Or at least not the kind I endorse. Hmm. Tragic. Do you have anything? What's your plan? What plan? Heck, he was a fresh new soul with some of the softest skin. <laughs> hmm. But still, I find it very suspicious. What do you mean? Well, it it felt vaguely familiar. Something human skin for some reason. <laughs> what are you talking about? Can't put my finger on it, but definitely it was surprisingly hmm. warm. Uh, yeah, I would figure a body that was still around to be warm. That's the thing; it's, it doesn't do it feel anything like a real soul. I could touch it and feel it. It was kind of nostalgic. However, you know, something was off. I can't really put my finger on it, but oh my god, I'm gonna find out next time I see him. Oh, I can't wait to see him again. <laughs> how, how, how confident are you that he's actually going to show up? Like I said, he's a lost puppy. There's no way he can resist all of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... What? Yeah, I don't know about that. If he starts mouthing off about uh, asking off of everybody uh, about who you are, do you really think he's going to want to be a part of that? Like, huh. That's a good point. And my... Hmm. Oh well, I guess I'll have to cross that bridge when I get to it. But if anything, if I find out anyone is talking bad about me, I can always deal with it. So, if anything, how are things with you? Oh, that bad, is it? 
Still looking, Alistair, on your side. What? Come on, talk to me. Trust me, I am a good listener. He's gone. Excuse me? <laughs> He's gone. Really? So I suppose that means you win. Huh. I guess so. Do you want to celebrate? Maybe in my room. At eight. Hmm. That might not be a good idea. I'll get angel dust. Oh, my God. Oh, don't you talk to me about him. You were very, very attentive. <clears throat> Really? Yes. Ugh, where's Angel Dust? Oh, he left already. If anything, he just... He, uh, he wouldn't have to... He, somewhere else. Not sure why, but... To each his own. You know, he's in the studio, why call for him? That's all that matters. So... How are you feeling? Hang the hangovers are a bitch. Well, I guess I'm not gonna make you feel better. Oh, oh yes, you know exactly what makes me happy. I can say the same to you too. All right, that's enough. No, but what is it? You're kind of interrupting a precious moment. Precious, my ass. You fucking powers are. Need to be burned at the stake for the atrocities you caused. Uh, we were doing no such things at all, please. With everything I heard. You forget my room was. You know, in the next building. Yeah, I heard you from there. And so help me if I get crow's feet or bag under my eyes, I am going to shove my foot so far up your... Please, don't spare any details. Well, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Well, if anything, I'm gonna check the the front lobby. See if my new toy decided to come over. I can't wait for initiation, just in case. Well, I'm still not so sure about that kid. Just. Something to worry about. No, yes, for some reason my charms didn't seem to have a desired effect. I know I just got him thinking. Besides, I already told him not to be uh, with the wrong people. What? Oh, yes, you know I can't risk anyone making deals with my prey. Uh, right. So, so, if anything, what's so special about this one? Oh. You really want to know? Yeah, I doubt his soft skin is the only thing that really attracted you. 
Oh, that was just icing on the cake. <laughs> Box. Oh, he's not that good. Like I said, a plus puppy. Yeah, man. The innocence in his eyes. The fear on his face. Oh, just... It makes me want to... Either... Protect him or... Break him. It's so tempting. But first, I need to wait. I can't, I can't just rush everything, not yet. I have to wait for him to come to me, sign his name, and be mine. And I'll make sure to give him a nice, warm, large welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you're a six. You're you're a real sick man, Val. Oh please, I'm just very passionate. <sighs> now I need to check my schedule. See if I have any shoots with Angel today. You can see yourself out, Fox. <laughs> I'll never be clean again. What happened? All right, guys. I'm not in Japan anymore. Oh. oh, well. I don't know what to really do here besides. Exercise, I guess. As that is all Izuku really knows what he should be doing. As far as going really outside, he doesn't. Not really. I mean, anyway, whenever he gets hungry or thirsty, all he does is go for the nice, nutritious rats that run around. First time, of course, he was very hesitant. But two weeks, he's just eating them like it's nothing. This is just for some fact that, yeah, he has no money. He has no real outside experience. And he should have told him one run to someone who would put him on a leash, heeding Valentino's warning. It's really the fact that he is being very cautious of where he goes and who he may or may not interact with. Though he does still have Valentino's card, he, he still gets an eerie feeling from him. Something like, okay, he might seem nice, but there's something about him that just screams... Don't trust him. <laughs> so, by this time, Izuku has built up an okay amount of muscle. And thanks to him hunting for rats or any other vermin to potentially be his meal for a day, yeah, he has gotten better at using a spear, per se. But it's during the one month mark where he really starts to go stir crazy thanks to the lack of human, or in this case, demon interaction. By this point, he still doesn't know that he's really in hell, despite the whole round, you know, saying, Yeah, we call them angels who end up slaughtering us. All he knows is, Okay. So this is. One very dangerous boot camp type thing, as far as Izuku knows. It's when he does end up going outside, seeing everything that's obviously he's never seen before, especially when it comes to the sky, which he finally does take time to 
take a look at, especially the big ass winged sphere right next to the, the damn red pentagram inscribed moon. So there, he's a group. Of course, he is very curious to what the hell is going on. So, for him walking to over his makeshift shelter, he also wonders, hmm, okay, this exercise is great and all, but they're going to do so much. So, he starts asking others for help. And of course, them being demonic asshole sinners, they probably tell him to fuck off. <sighs> Sadly, Izuku is too optimistic. And he does ask for the directions to Valentino's building. But the only thing is, the person he asks is actually Angel Dust. And this is when he does ask Angel Dust to the directions. Angel Dust like, why you want to go there? As soon as he's going to tell him, like, yeah, I'm going to say you could take care of me, keep me safe. Angel gets shivers. He is terrified and wondering, are you? He said what to you? Yeah, he said you keep me safe and take care of me. I mean, I told my dad I had no money, but I told he, he said I just had to work for him. So yeah, Angel just spills the beans. How fucking awful it is. At least how awful it would be. For him, especially when he knows his Izuku's childlike, baby face, soft, and trusting nature and features. He's like, oh man, he's going to ruin you. I cannot, in good conscience, that this happened. So yeah, he tells everything about Valentina and the other bees. So, yeah. Izuku, he rips up that car and just casts it throughout the air as he thanks Angel for being such a great person. And bring me Anthony. And no problem, kid. Anthony. Angel doing his one good D for today goes to get high. <sighs> no, that's a bust. Hmm. So, an overlord, huh? Interesting. And then Izuku just has an idea. I could do that too. I think I can. This is when he does start thinking, like, okay, so what can I really offer anyone that will cause them to actually want to make a deal with me? Hmm. Man, it's going to be difficult. Him looking at all <laughs> the food that he's procured, mixed in with the weapons that he's had. <laughs> That he's noticed that we're still laying around thanks to Camila's uh, sloppiness this year. But I can't really offer anything. Until he realizes this building is completely empty. So I can offer them a true safe haven. At least somewhere where they can lay their heads. So first things first, he tries his sales pitch to pretty much any random demon that comes across him. Again, they just flip him off and keep walking. They don't want to trust 
anyone who's trying to make a deal right now. They are not that desperate. So, what does he going to do? He just starts going further and further below the barrel. Until he does meet this one demon. Which, yeah, she's crying. She's wondering why she got uh, damned just because she missed church one time. Is it good? Of course. He stretches out his hand. And he knows his, okay, this person looks real to the ring just like I was. Of course, this demon does not trust him one damn bit. To a point where she actually tries to attack Izuku just to protect herself. Only thing is, Izuku being such a nice person, he allows it. Which causes him to actually have a slash on his face. And this poor demon, of course, is wondering, oh my god, what have I done? Trying to make it better, Izuku, just tell her, please calm down. And they get to talking. Izuku talks about how he recently did end up becoming a technically a landowner, or at least having somewhere where he can sleep, eat, and be partially safe. Of course, this demon is wondering, are you asking me to come live with you? What's the catch? Her just covering herself while looking at Izuku very suspiciously. Of course, he's like, no, it's nothing like that. I just want to make a deal. This demon gets on the hell of defensive because of this shit. Because, of course, she has heard of overlords by now. Thanks to the word of mouth. And she yells at Izuku saying that she's not that desperate. She is not going to give over her body or anything to him, let alone her soul. But Izuku, listen, be knowing. I just want to survive. And I think we can survive together. If you just make a deal with me. What do I get out of this? Food, shelter. At least the best I can offer. Their own protection, you have a deal. We need protecting from. Uh, uh, let's not talk about it now. But promise me. You have my word. I'll protect you with as much strength as I can. With all I can. And Iziku has made his first deal. The thing is, with Iziku still having his human body and his soul, it's an interesting type of thing, thing that happens to him. For one, he feels a rush of power we're coursing through him. And this is when he notices something is starting to form on his face. A somewhat kind of mask that he can still see out of. But then he notices his vision has changed. He can see farther. He can see in practically pure darkness. Hell, he even notices there are flames around him. What the hell are you? I don't know. 
But one thing's for certain, I'm pretty sure I can protect you a bit easier now. Uh, come on, uh, let's go to where I live. Upon seeing Izuku's humble, humble dwelling, this demon at first looks disappointed until Izuku's like, you can sleep over there. Where are you sleeping? Oh, I'm sleeping somewhere else. I... Wait, you, you're not, we're not going to be in the same room? No, I mean, I figured you'd be uncomfortable. I, I, well, I, um, uh, I, thank you? Um, sure. He's like, of course, walking off, but also seeing the surprise, but also somewhat fearful look on this poor demon's face. He's like, um, you know... If you need someone to talk to, or, like, okay, be honest, I don't like sleeping alone. At least, I don't feel safe. And you promised that you would protect me. How are you going to do that if we're not in the same vicinity? Okay, fine. Fine. That's that's fair. Really? Yeah. And you promise you won't change your mind and of course not. Thank you. Eh, no problem. Just um huh. just know you can trust me. Okay? I'm not like one of these. Uh, you, you know who they are? Yeah. The kind person told me about, about them, at least told me about Valentino. <laughs> really? Who, what kind of person is that? What, what What's their name? Um, I think... His name was Anthony? Huh. Never heard of him. But if he knows about Valentino, he must be. Hmm. Does he go by any other name? Yeah, Angel Dust. What? Yeah. Why? Do you know him? Yeah, he's the best. He's one of the most famous um, adult entertainment stars. What do you mean by that? Wait, you don't know? Like, know what? Well, he's... Huh, how should I put this without... He's... Oh, oh my! Oh, my stars! Like, yeah. So if he's, if that's the angel dust you're talking about, Val owns him. He made a deal with Val, and now, oh, oh my, oh no! I, no, I gotta help him. You can't. Why not? Because, like I said, Val owns him. He he can do whatever he wants with his with his property. Just as like technically, if you were more malicious, you could too. What? Once you own someone's soul, you can't really disobey them, or they can't disobey you. 
Thus the contract was broken. Well, how we break it? What? Yeah. But, well, no one knows really how. Damn it. Wait. Can overlords make deals too? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, no, you're not thinking about... I'm thinking about making a deal with Valentino. I'd want to fight him. You can't. Why not? He has countless souls. And? The more souls you have, the more power you have. And he has a lot of influence. Since our, if you were going to fight him, and he caught wind of it, he would send people to soften you up if he felt like you were a threat. So what you're saying is, it's useless. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is, you're going to need more souls than what you got now. 